In the Andean culture, we call the Andean birds like the ukukus, and the ukukus are like the guardians of the cloud forest. Cloud forest is in the mountains across the Andes, the beginning of the Amazon River Basin. You know, the trees are covered by mosses and orchids, and they are like a sponge capturing this water, making the streams that go to the Amazon River. Many of the species of trees or animals are endemic. When the climate gets warmer, the formation of the cloud will go higher. But the tree line is not moving up because the grassland is more open, it's more sunlight, so the seeds and the trees are finding it difficult to colonize new areas. We think the Andean birds can help the ecosystem. Their diet is mainly plants, so they play a key role to disperse the seeds of up to 150 different species of trees. After the seeds pass through the bears, the digestive system of the organic material can protect the seed and also help the seedlings to grow. And might potentially be helping the tree line move up to help this forest to adapt to the new environmental conditions. It's not easy to study the secret life of Andean bears. We have to always look for clues. We are using camera traps in order to know how the bears are using the different habitats. This is our first camera trap at 3,800 meters, 74 more to go. We are using these satellite collars with GPS. We can follow bears on real time. We've been finding they can move 8 kilometers per day. When you see them in the camera trap or when you see them in the forest, it's just amazing. Also, also, we prove that bears are living from the lowland forest to the highland, to the grassland areas. Sharing this knowledge with the local authorities here will help us for the conservation of Andean bears and the future generation can still enjoy this fragile ecosystem.